So this will pick up things like cell phone signals, Wi-Fi signals, Bluetooth signals, all those signals that are becoming more and more common in the home. All right, I just received this today. I ordered it. it only took a couple of weeks to come in. So you're probably wondering why the hell I spent $650 on this unit. And so am I. No, the reason that I purchased it is because with our next house that we purchase, be it that we're gonna build from land or if we're gonna renovate, I'd actually like to try and shield the house from EMF and RF signals. The reason I wanna do that is because I feel like there's a big unknown in what radio frequencies can do to your health and to test if it's actually going to work, I'll need a device like this. Otherwise I could wrap the entire house in mesh and earth it to the ground and not know if it's even doing anything. So with this device, I'll be able to test the before signals, what the signals are like in say the master bedroom on the bed. And then after shielding the house, I'll be able to test it again and see just how low I can get it to drop. I will make videos on the shielding and how I go about the process when I do it to the house. For one, I try and hardwire appliances anywhere I can. So TVs straight to the router through ethernet ports, etc. I try not to use Wi-Fi. I've always shied against Wi-Fi because in the past it's always faulted a whole lot more than a hardwired would. So when the signal hits that mesh, which will essentially work like a Faraday cage, it will actually earth it out into the ground and that signal will actually get lost. For those of you that don't know what a Faraday cage is, it's essentially a cage wrapped in metal with another cage within it wrapped in metal again, but generally the second cage or third cage or fourth cage, however many you want to go, will not be touching each other. They'll all be independent and therefore each time it hits another cage, the signal will become weaker and weaker. I'm gonna test this thing around phones, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, TVs with Wi-Fi capabilities, all the different things you find around the house, around the microwave, just to see out of curiosity just how strong the microwave output is, and also around the induction cooktop. Not many people realize that induction cooktops put out a whole lot of EMF. If there's anything specific you want me to test, please put it in the comments, let me know. I'll do my best to make a video on it. This is interesting stuff. It's gonna be the stuff of the future. It's not widely talked about at the moment, but coming into the generation where we are, where we're having the internet of things, absolutely every appliance in your house is gonna be connected to the internet. Each one's gonna have its own Wi-Fi. There's gonna be a growing issue of how much EMF and RF is too much. Just as another perspective for you, if you have not looked into this stuff before, in nature, there is already a frequency. The sun punches down a whole lot of different frequencies. There are frequencies that come from the middle of the earth. There's frequencies that come from the sun, frequencies that come from the stars. There are all sorts of frequencies all around us and we've been living with them for thousands of years. It's only been in the last 20 years that we've decided we're gonna replace all those natural frequencies with man-made ones. And that is where the concern lies. Thanks for watching. If you're interested, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you want me to look into. Thanks for watching, bye.